Hey guys, it's uh, been a while since I did one of these late night videos and uh, you know, I kind of miss it and it always helps me get my thoughts together and uh, this one, you know, it, it kind of kind of surprised me that I needed to just because like I've been feeling really down lately. I'm not 100% sure why. Contextually, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Logically, I like... It's weird to me because things are really good right now, you know. Things are going well with videos. I feel like I've been able to have a lot of opportunities to connect with my family, to go on the last leg of the tour, you know, the cloak launch. Everything's going well. And yet... Like, I can't help but feel like something's missing, you know. And I always got to hesitate because I'm all like, am I whining about something? Am I just whining to whine? Am I complaining about something that's not really worth complaining about? But, like, I can't shake this feeling. Not this feeling that something's wrong, but this feeling that, I don't know. Like, I'm waiting for something more. I'm not really one for sitting still. A lot of the time, I'm always on the move. I can never stay in the same place for too long. I can never stay in the same situation for too long. I can never commit to anything for too long because I have this incessant need to keep moving forward. And so when it comes down to my life, if there's ever a time when I'm uh, stuck doing the same thing, I often get antsy. But this is different because like, I've got so many different things going on that I, I thought I would have been you know, a lot happier than I am. And so, I mean, in reality, I don't really know why, and I, I don't know what to make of it. I have, I have ideas about what I want and ideas about things that I need and ideas about things that are better for the future, but, you know, the future is all I can think about these days. My future, everyone's future, humanity's future. Like, my thoughts are constantly on the future. Because coming up, this will be the last few months of my life before my birthday next June, where I'm in my 20s. And not that I'm afraid of getting older, I'm actually looking forward to getting older. Like, I just don't know what my 30s are going to be defined by. You know, I've gotten to this point in my life and the success on this channel by being so unbelievably sure of what I needed to do. It was really obvious, you know, make videos try to help people, raise money for charity, do what I can to better the world. And yet, I don't know, is it wrong of me to say like, it doesn't feel like enough? Not that it doesn't feel like enough, but it feels like I could be doing more, you know? Not that it's enough for my own self-satisfaction, but it's not enough because, like I think I know my potential. I'd like to think I know my potential anyway. I want to, I want to like, I want to always push myself farther and I always want to try to improve myself every day. But I've reached this point where I realized that there's a possibility that I could do a lot more with my life. And I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know the specifics of it. I, I, I don't know where, where that would be or what that would be. I don't know what form it would take, but I, I just feel... I feel like everything that I've done so far in a lot of ways is 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 incredible and I'm incredibly proud of what we've built in terms of this community and I'm incredibly proud of what we've done together and I'm incredibly proud of that but at the same time it's like I want to do more you know I want to do more I don't want to do more in terms of like private things that are band-aid fixes on a lot of problems I want to do more to actually change the world. I want to do more to really inspire people who maybe feel like they have no hope or move humanity in some big way. And, and that's, that seems almost ridiculous for me to say out loud, but I want to. I want to inspire change in, in more people. I want to push people towards a better future. Like I've always said, I wanted to leave behind more than I take. I want to leave a better world than I came into. I want to improve the world as much as I can as a human being. I want to do that. And it's easy to say that I want to do that. But I think the, the thing that's getting me down right now is like, 
I keep saying it and I keep saying it over and over and I keep thinking it and I keep thinking about it and and I want like I want my life to mean something. And it means something right now and I think the juxtaposition is that it does mean something but it's still doesn't feel like I'm doing enough, you know. And I know there'll be people that say, you know, I, I do more than enough. But in all honesty, like, I'm bored. Like, I'm bored. I'm sitting around a lot. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm just kind of like letting the clock tick by. And, and I'm not, I'm not that kind of creature. I, I can't do that. I can't just sit idly by while waiting for the world to move past me. I can't do it. I physically can't. There's a lot of things that I can do and there's a lot of things left for me to do in this world, but like, I can't just sit idly by. I want to. I crave it. I crave change. I crave moving mountains. I crave doing as much as I possibly can. I crave working myself to the bones. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the potential. I love the failure of it. I love trying things and not succeeding. I love that. I love the experience of it. It just makes me feel alive. And I want to do something that does some kind of tangible good more than what we've done so far, you know. And no, this doesn't mean that I'm going to be quitting YouTube at any time soon. Like, that's never been a part of this. The... Uh, the whole process behind these videos is just that I, I think out loud so I can try to get a better understanding of what, what I really want. Because I know that it all ties back into a community. In one way or another, what we have here is an amazing thing. There are negatives to YouTube and the internet in general and social media in general, but there are positives too. It is not an inherently evil structure, but the way it can be used and the way that communities can be banded together can be. But it is also good. And I think we should consider ourselves to be very lucky to have this opportunity to be at the center of all this change when the world's changing and the world's in chaos and it can seem dark and it can seem dreary but I think we should still consider ourselves lucky because we can be the catalyst to change the world for the better and I think that's an incredible thing and I just don't know what like that's the thing I just don't know what but I want to so it's it's just got me down because, I don't know, I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. But at the same time, it's not really down in terms of like it's impacting my day-to-day -day life. It's just making me think constantly about what the future holds. I don't know. I already feel better. Like that's the thing about me rambling, me rambling into the camera like this. Is, it's old school way of me doing this. Is it? I don't know just helps me think clearly about what's really important and I know for a fact what's really important is you guys so anyway I'll close it up here I'm fine number one first and foremost I'm fine just because I say I'm a little down doesn't mean that I'm incredibly depressed it just means that I'm searching for purpose and that's not a bad thing but anyway I'll let you guys get back to sleep sorry for waking you or if you're watching this in the fewer future um go get some sleep anyway i'm sure you'll need it at some point so thank you everybody so much for watching thanks for being here thanks for like believing in me and thanks for listening to me ramble and thanks for helping me clear some things up so uh thanks and as always i'll see you in the next video Bye bye